and I were shocked when we received the news from various friends who live in Friday Harbor that the downtown area was on fire. At that time, no one knew how much would be damaged or how far it could spread. It was heartbreaking to see the devastation in downtown Friday Harbor when we arrived this summer. On April 7th of 2022, a pre-dawn four alarm fire erased history in downtown Friday Harbor. A Washington State Ferry was diverted to shuttle fire crews from Orcas and Lopez Islands to Friday Harbor to help battle the fire. One week later, this fire has been officially determined as arson. Six buildings that are among the first you see on Spring Street as you depart the ferry were destroyed by a fire that burned through approximately one-third of the block. Fortunately, there were no injuries. Early estimations calculate there has been at least 10 million in damages. Businesses affected by the fire include Crow's Nest Coffee Shop, Herb's Tavern, Crystal Seas Kayaking, and Windermere Real Estate Offices. At least one of the structures destroyed was historic, built in the late 1800s. Like most small businesses, the COVID pandemic and recent scheduled ferry delays due to lack of employees have slowed sales and now this devastation, coming just before what is expected to be the busiest tourist season since COVID restrictions have been lifted. Investigators determined the fire originated behind Crystal Seas kayaking. An accelerant was found on the decking material. A notice from the ATF, San Juan County Sheriff's Office, and Friday Harbor Fire was posted online asking for the public's assistance with information, photos, or anything that could help them find the, the person or persons responsible for the fire. On April 16th, 2022, authorities located and arrested 33-year-old Dwight C. Henline on suspicion of arson and planned to charge him with first-degree arson at his arraignment on May 2nd. Henline had lived in Friday Harbor for the past 10 months. He was captured on security cameras in the area on the night of the fire and was known to have bought lighter fluid just before the fire. Rumor has it that Henline had previously had an argument with one of the business owners, which is allegedly the reason he started the fire. Even with the marred historic buildings that are now gone forever, some business owners have publicly stated they are looking forward to rebuilding and reopening as soon as possible. Work is in process now to clean up debris and see if there's anything worth salvaging. Unfortunately, rebuilding on an island can take years. Friday Harbor is such a beautiful, entertaining, and memorable place. We have grown to love living on this island. Time ticks on, and activities here have returned to normal, and everyone is enjoying the good weather. And of course, the boating season is about to officially begin. Be sure to catch our next video coming soon about our return to the island for the summer of 2022. We'll see you next time.